In this video, I'm going to show you how to add charts and diagrams into Google Drawings. To begin, both charts and diagrams can be inserted from the Insert menu. So if I click on Insert, let's say I want to add a chart to my Google Drawing. I have a few options. If I choose Bar, Column, Line, or Pie, Google Drawings will automatically insert one of the indicated charts with some pre-populated data. I'll show you how to get to that pre-populated data in a second. Or if you already have data in a Google Sheet and you want to include the chart from that sheet, you can click on From Sheets and then select the Google Sheet that contains the chart and then select the chart that you want to appear in your Google Drawing. So let's say I want to include a line chart. So I click on Line Chart and notice a line chart appears. Now interestingly, this is not connected to any data that I put in. It just automatically creates like a little spreadsheet with some data in it and then displays a graph. So this is probably not the data that you want to display. So what you can do is once the line graph is there or other graph, click on the link in the upper right hand corner and then click on open source. This will open up the Google Sheet that contains the pre-populated data used to create the chart. So you can change some of this. So let's say instead of Team A, we wanted Red Team or Read Team since I can't spell. Blue Team. green team, and yellow team. All right, so I can change that data, and then I can also uh, change the numbers if I want. Let's say that's 54, and this is now like nine or something like that, and it will update the chart for me. So let's say I've made all the changes that I want to make. update with the new data and now I have the, the graph that I really want. All right, so that is how you can add a chart to a Google Drawing. All right, now I'm going to get rid of the chart and you can also insert diagrams. If you click on insert diagram, the little window on the right opens up and you can select which type of diagram you want all right, based on the, the generic type, so if you want a hierarchy or a grid or a timeline or process, relationship or cycle, uh, you can choose that and once you click on that you'll get to choose some various formatting options. How many levels do you want? What color do you want things to be? So let's say we pick one of these and we click on that and all of a sudden it gets updated into our Google Drawing. Now this is basically, uh, it's part of the Google Drawing. All the text boxes have text that you can now edit. Uh, you can change the formatting of the little boxes. So maybe you don't like the uh, color of the box. Maybe you want to change that border to something a little bit different. Uh, but you can add diagrams this way, and it's a lot easier than trying to make these by hand yourself. And it will save you a lot of time. 